happy Friday. Tonight is a much needed self-care night. Honestly, this week has felt so long. And I was literally at school today, zoning out of my classes, thinking about the bath I'm gonna have tonight. And the little self-care night I'm gonna have tonight. I love a night to myself. And that's what we're having tonight. A self-care night to myself. First thing I'm gonna do is of course have a bath. <laughs> quite yet that is later on in the night but i am going to oil my hair before i get in the bath usually i'll leave this in for a bit longer but i'm gonna leave it in for like 20 minutes tonight or however long i'm in the bath for i have this hair oil from fable and main and i actually got this in my advent calendar this year i'm pretty sure so i usually use about one to two droppers just on my scalp and then massage it in as well give myself a little scalp massage <laughs> Tamagotchi, you do. Girl, you hold me all so softly, and you feed me, and you watch me, you do. Baby, you keep me in your pocket with your keys and with your wallet, you do. Alexa, play some jazz music. Fully having an everything shower. This razor is from Flamingo, and the shaving frame I'm using is from Rituals. <laughs> Swear to God, baths actually make me so red. Like I'm gonna be flushed for a good half an hour. My new towel that Strand gifted me. I don't know if it's just me, but I get so thirsty when I go to the bath. Like, I don't know why I don't bring my water bottle with me into the bath. But I'm always, like, gasping for water when I come out of the bath. Anyway, I thought I'd give you guys a little updated hair care routine. When my hair's wet, I brush my hair out using this, like, den... This Denman... It is Denman. Denman comb. It says DPC6, but it's literally just, like, a tooth comb. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I get sent different hair stuff all the time so I don't really have a specific hair care routine, I kind of switch it up like every time I wash my hair including the shampoos and conditioner I use but today I really want to use the... why am I so clumsy today? I want to use the Strand Crown Frick... Crown Fix like scalp gel because I used this the other day but I don't know just the, the concept of using a scalp gel after I've showered is so weird but I don't know I kind of liked it last time so I sort of just apply like a bit in my scalp <laughs> And then in terms of hair oil, I bloody love the Jisoo hair oil. It smells so good. The only thing with this is you do not need much. Like, I put the tiniest few drops in the bottom of my hair. That's all I'm gonna do to my hair. Honestly, I keep it kind of simple. But I used this the other day, which is just like the Palmer's body oil. I'm literally just gonna put this all over my body because it's so hydrating. And I can't admit, you do feel a bit greasy for the first solid 20 minutes. But after, like the next day, I feel so soft. So I'm literally gonna lather this all over me. 
Okay, so I just chucked on this little hoodie from Adenola and I'm gonna make myself some dinner. I can't lie, I'm just gonna make pesto pasta. It's like one of my main comfort meals or just like easy, easy simple meals. I am also gonna add some chicken into it, get a bit of protein in there. But yeah, pesto pasta is like such a go-to meal for me. I would say I could actually live off like eggs, eggs on toast, pesto pasta and my dad's curry. Like three foods, three meals, if I could only have those. Solid three meals. But yeah, I've got to wait for the, the oven to warm up, which takes so long. But yeah, I love a bit of chefing. Comment down your like go-to comfort meal. I know my mum's is either like a jacket potato or beans on toast, which I feel like are such classic British comfort meals. And then my dad's is also his Malaysian curry. But yeah, comment down what yours is below. Alexa, volume five. <laughs> Running, there's no stopping. Cause when I'm with you, I just fall. I keep talking, confronting all of your woes. Ain't my fault. Leave me, baby. Just think about it. I know this may not be the healthiest or most aesthetic dinner, but it is bloody sexy. Pesto pasta is just like different gravy. Like, I don't know what it is about pesto. It's just so good. Don't keep breaking. My heart apart. Okay, um, so I always hear that you should brush your teeth before you do your skincare because like the toothpaste can like cause breakouts around your mouth. I don't know if that's possible or not, but I'm gonna do it because I'm paranoid. Order, I got a new toothbrush head for my toothbrush every day and it was so needed. I hadn't changed that toothbrush head in literally like, I don't know, over a year and a half maybe. This is your sign if you haven't changed your toothbrush head in a while. I know that might just be me. Like I might just be gross. Baby. Apologies if like the, the sound is bad in the bathroom by the way. I really need to get a microphone for my camera, but that'll, that'll happen one day. Anyway, I'm gonna give you guys an updated skincare routine. I can't lie to you, this also changes all the time and I apologize, but here's what it is tonight. So I actually used the Inculus O Cleansing Balm for ages and then the body shop sent me their like makeup butter remover, the chamomile one. So good. I don't know, it just feels so much smoother on my face and I just use this to melt off all my makeup. By the way, I got a lash lift yesterday. A little treat, a little Thursday night treat. But I'm not supposed to get my lashes wet for 48 hours. I think I kind of ruined that when I steamed them in the bath tonight, but I'm still not going to try and get them directly wet as I wash my face. <laughs> And then I'm gonna use this little facial cloth to wipe it off. I also always use this like little cotton pad in Garnier water after I use that just to get any makeup off like under my eyes or my neck or just places where like not fully cleansed. Um, I cannot for the life of me find my other CeraVe cleanser. So I'm just gonna use this one, which is just the, the basic green one, but I usually have the, I don't know where I could have put it, I usually have the like oily skin one, but it's fine. We can use this, we can work with this. And I always go shower my face when I wash it, just because I feel like the gouchard glides over a lot easier than with a serum. No, I can't be the only one. A lot of people ask me like whether I think we're showering works and I know like it doesn't seem real like it's just this thing that you're putting on your face. I genuinely think it like makes my bone structure. I don't know. I genuinely think it does something. Like if I don't do it for a week, I think my face is a lot more puffy and especially in the morning if I wake up with a puffy face, doing this literally depuffs it so much. <laughs> And then I feel like Loki at a self-care night isn't a self-care night without a face mask. For me, anyway. Um, tonight I'm using this Kiehl's Rare Earth Deep Pore Cleansing Mask with Amazonian white clay. Intensively purifies to minimize. It's such a- okay, I haven't used it before. It's such a thick- like, look how thick that is. This face mask is like deep deep in my skin. It's like solidified, it's so hard. I've set a 20 minute timer and whilst I wait for this to dry, I thought I would journal for a bit. Journaling is something I like actually really 
love doing. I've said this before, but I journal more when I'm like not doing the great, not doing the best. I'm like very stressed or whatever. And I tend to not journal as much when I'm like, when I'm fine and like life's life's great, you know? And actually the last like two weeks, I haven't been journaling consistently, like every few days maybe, which is a good thing, I guess. But also I do want to try just stay consistent with journaling no matter like whether it's been a good day, whether it's been a bad day, you know, I can just say something I'm grateful for or some positive affirmation or just think about the day, you know, whatever. So today I'm going to get back on that. I do do it digitally on my laptop on Notion just because I find the easiest. <laughs> finish off my skincare routine with you guys. Tonight I'm using the Polish Choice Exfoliator. I only use this every three days so I don't want to over exfoliate my skin but I'm using it tonight. And then on top I'm just gonna like hydrate afterwards. I always hydrate after using exfoliating anything with the Causarex Snail Mucin. If you haven't seen this before this has like a really weird a really weird texture, but it's so hydrating. Like I always wake up with my skin feeling very hydrated the next day. Finally, I'm gonna tie my hair back. And then finally, I'm gonna mix Bondi Sand self tanning drops with my CeraVe moisturizer. I got sent these the other day and I've used them once and I love them. Like I felt like the next morning I was waking up, I'm just a bit more bronzed, you know? So I'm gonna do it again tonight. I am so scared of turning orange. So I literally put in like, recommend is force 12 drops and I put in two. So it doesn't do a huge amount, but I, like, I personally can notice the difference, which is great. <laughs> Finally gonna end with the Laneige lip mask. Okay, so I'm gonna try to get an early-ish night tonight, but it's only 9.54. So I'm gonna watch an episode of One Day. My mom has finished it all on my account, but I'm pretty sure I got to episode seven. I'm so scared, because I'm supposed to cry soon, and I don't wanna cry. Um, if you've watched One Day, let me know in the comments below. But yeah, I'm gonna go watch an episode of One Day before I sleep, and then I'm probably gonna try to sleep before 11, or be asleep by 11, because I feel like sleep is so important. And I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching. This is your sign. Have your own little self-care night. I love you all so much and I'll see you next time.